faithfulness this morning. Let us go to him in prayer and invite him here in our midst. Let us consecrate our hearts, ask him to consecrate our hearts and our minds. Ask him to give us the liberty this morning to worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord, let us pray. Holy Father, we come, Lord Jesus, with joy into your house this morning to magnify and to praise your name, to exalt your name, Lord Jesus, O oh God. Oh, Father God, because you are the great God. You are the mighty Father, Lord Jesus, O oh God. And Lord, we come, Lord Jesus, only to worship you. Father God, we pray as we come this morning, O oh God, that you'll break every yoke, Lord Jesus, O oh God. Break every yoke of doubt and fear, Lord Jesus, we pray. Oh, Father God, we pray you break every yoke of sickness. Oh, God, of sorrow, of pain, Lord Jesus, oh, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, oh, God, that you'll have your own sweet way, Lord Jesus, oh, God. This morning we call upon you, Lord Jesus, oh, God, because thou art the way maker. Oh, God, we call upon you because you're the deliverer. We call upon you, Lord Jesus, oh, God, because you're the mighty God. Oh, Father God, you're the compassionate God. The one who never fails us, Lord Jesus, oh God. But the one who is with us, Lord Jesus. Oh Father God, as we lift up our cups up to you this morning. We pray, Lord Jesus, oh God, that you will fill our cups, Lord. And let them overflow this morning. God, we praise your name. God, we worship you, Lord Jesus, oh God. And Lord, we magnify your name. Take over, Lord Jesus, today. Have your own sweet way, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we look to you and we say thanks. In Jesus' name, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let us praise him this morning. Let's 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 praise him this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. woke me up and I want to give him thanks and I give him want to give him praise. Praise the Lord. I'll read a, a passage of scripture from Lamentation 3 and verse 20 to 32. I'll read the verses because I know everyone has different versions so I'll just read the verses. My soul had that still in remembrance and it is humbled in me. This I recall in my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, save my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath borne it upon him. He putteth his mouth in the dust. If so be there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach, for the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. Amen. May the Lord have his blessing to the reading thereof. Oh, we serve a compassionate and merciful Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's a uh, hymns of glorious praise um, in your seat. Let's glorify his name as we sing um, 301. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. I don't worry or the future. For I know what Jesus said. And today I'll walk beside him. 
for he knows what is ahead. Amen? We don't know a thing about tomorrow, but if we leave our lives in the hand of God, he surely knows about tomorrow. Praise the Lord. I don't know about tomorrow. I just leave.
praise the Lord. It says, the songwriter says, but the one who feeds the sparrow is the one who stands by you and I. And it says, and the path that we be my portion may be through a flame or flood, but his presence goes before me and I'm covered by his blood. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the blood this morning. The blood that gives us strength to strength it will never lose its power. The blood that gives us strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The shelter in the time of storm. Praise the Lord. Shelter in that. 
praise you and we glorify your name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Holy. He's holy this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. The next song we'll worship him with is, this is just what heaven means to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is, you got a ringing feeling in your ear when you talk about heaven. Can you see through your mind's eye what a day that will be when we get over there with him? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord.
If an angel of God was to walk in here, and we're talking our church, okay? If the angel of God was to walk in here this morning as a man dressed up, very prestige, that you would respect him. And he was to ask the pastor, well, Pastor Riley, to stand up. See, I slowed him right there. And he asked him to stand up. Jesus is standing right beside him. But you couldn't see Jesus right away. And he was asked a question. Are you with him? Are you with him? Are you with the pastor? And when he, but as soon as he asked a question, Jesus would stand up and make himself known right beside him. The question is, the answer left with you this morning. Amen. Because it is in the message. Amen. Are we ready to stand together? Are we ready to stand together? Amen. Hallelujah. Are we ready to stand together? United one. We stand. Divided. We fall. Amen. When you when you, when we allow the enemy to come in. Amen. Hallelujah. He separate us. He separate us. You know what a great feeling it is this morning. If somebody walk in and they could and they listen to the praise and worship. What, what, a, what a joy. A man walking sad and, and hopeless and, and he could hear the song. Amen. What a joy when we get over yonder. Amen. But let's go, let's look to in, into, into Acts chapter 2 this morning. In Acts chapter 2. Jesus, disciples, they were going through a great struggle. Great struggle. They were struggling with many things, just like you and I this morning. You're struggling with many things. Here is a couple of things that they were struggling with. One, the disciples, the 11 disciples were struggling. They're struggling with one. How can they witness about Jesus? How can they witness about Jesus? Judas, his treasurer, his just killed himself because he betrayed Jesus. Man. The worst part of it is Jesus, the great miracle worker who raised the dead, the Jesus, the one who called back to life, Lazarus, who stopped the funeral possession of the lady with her only son and he came back to life. Jesus is dead. Hallelujah. So what do they have to rejoice about? Not much. But then Jesus, before he went away, Jesus said, I want you to do something. Hallelujah. The problem, pastor. Amen. The problem in the churches. Amen. The among Christians. And I'm not saying in, 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 in any time. I believe that every church this morning is struggling with this. Is the word obedient. Obey God. If you obey God, listen, oh my God. If you obey God, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing off living to you. If you obey God, amen. Oh my Lord. So anyway, so Jesus said to them, listen man. All of what you are going through right now, it takes a toll on you. But I want you to do something in the process. I want you to go up to Jerusalem. And I want you to carry up there. I'm not going to tell you how many days you're going to be there. But I want you to go and do as I said. Hallelujah. And when the time has come, I'm going to endure you with power from on high. Amen. Praise God. So most of the times when we preach from Acts 2, we preach about the speaking of tongues. We preach about the Holy Ghost. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper on that this morning. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. You see, the, 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 the Holy Ghost came. And when the Holy Ghost came, not only that happened, the Bible said every man, every man that was there with every language under the sun, they heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can somebody say praise the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. They heard the message in their tongue. Glory to God. So when God stepped in on the scene, God will bring everything, all the everything that was out of, out of, out of shape, he will bring it back into shape. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, listen, amen, you're going to read that again. When they receive, amen, the Holy Ghost, and people began to speak in every language. Every language, every man that was there. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, that was a that was a that was a busy time. Men were coming in. The merchants were coming in to sell their their their, 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 um, their goods. But all of a sudden, Jesus chose that time to release what the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the Bible said, when when it, when let me let me read here, let me read here. Amen. Verse three and verse four. Yeah. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. Let me stop right there, son. Hallelujah. I know many people today, and some of you are watching around the world this morning. Now you understand that. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, ladies and gentlemen, many, many, many Christians, you, you don't want to hear the normal preacher. You want to hear the man that's going to speak in tongues. Amen. He said one word and he speak ten words in tongues. That's a man you think have the anointing. But that's a man that not preaching to you. Hallelujah. Because you don't know what he's saying. The Bible said, Hallelujah. It give the Holy Ghost. Give you a courage. You don't speak when you feel like speaking. You don't choose your own language. Oh my Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You get Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost give you a courage. The Holy Ghost see that the man is sick. And he needs to be healed. Hallelujah. And the man, the Holy Ghost said, hey, Amen. Why well, my sister right to go over it and pray for that man? Hallelujah. That man is healed. The man get up and start rejoicing. Glory to God. Why? Because the Holy Ghost Amen. spoken. Yes. Amen. The Holy Ghost spoken. So the Bible said, they speak of the Holy Ghost in obedience. In obedience, hallelujah. In obedience. And that's the reason why today, ladies and gentlemen, you have a lot of prophets and prophets preaching and prophesying and nothing come out of their prophecy because it's all in their head. Hallelujah. I was coming to church one morning and I, and I heard this prophet, a prophet this one, she did. She was prophesied. She said, I was in my office and the Lord spoke to me and said, Jamaica is going to be covered with water. Yes. Repent, everybody. And very soon after, my, 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 um, my inbox, my WhatsApp was full oh, wow. of the new message. You know, the prophet is brought that hey, man, Jamaica is going to cover the water. Where is it? Where is it? Amen. Where is it? The prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why today, ladies and gentlemen, you and I need to be tuned in with God. Amen. You need to tune in with God. So what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, let me go back to the verse that, 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 that I was that I met, mentioned to. In verse um, in verse 13. Uh, 14, verse 14. Hallelujah. Jesus sent the disciples. Now look at this one more. Jesus said the disciples go to Jerusalem. When they go up there, there was there was eleven up there. Amen. Jesus had twelve. Jesus already put it in the Peter heart. Peter, you need to have one more man. Hallelujah. You need to be able to have six pair of men. Amen. You don't need no single man up there. You know what I mean? That means that we have to learn to stand together. Amen. There's a singleness. I over there and you over there. Uh -uh. That's when you that's when you over there and I over there. That's when the devil gets to be a wall in between us. Amen. We need to stand together. Amen. We 
We need to have confidence in others. Oh my God. Amen. So the Bible said that Jesus said tarry. They tarry. Why do we need to tarry? They get the need to get to know each other. See, that's one of the problems. We don't know each other. When I come to church and I see Brother Riley here, I say, God bless you, my brother. He said, God bless you, my brother. And if it was, if it was, if it was any good time, he gave me a hug and I gave him a hug and we got home. Amen. I don't know if he's sick at home. Maybe if he's sick, Sister Riley would post it. Our sister Riley would call and say, somebody, pray for him. You see that, see? When, when you don't get to know each other, amen, the early church get to know each other, amen. So the Bible said they, they gather together, and while they get together, they get to know each other. So here we come to in verse, in verse, um, in verse 14. And when the people, they said, listen, all of these people, man, something wrong with them. I think they're drunk. Amen. I think somebody give them some good wine to drink. And they get some really good wine. So now they're speaking, oh my God. They're now, now, they're, now they are shouting, oh, because they got a new one. But people get up. And here we go now. And say, Peter, get up and said, listen, let me go from the Bible to the word of God in itself. And Peter said, stand up. With what? How many people did Peter get up with? Eleven. And he did what? Twelve. Hallelujah. So they get up in unity. Hallelujah. And that's what the church is. That's what our church needs, folks. We need unity. Yeah. And whether you are in Calvary, whether you are in Vancouver, whether you are in Winnipeg this morning, the church of God, we need unity. Yeah. And when we have unity, we are going to have victory on top of victory on top of victory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When we have victory, nobody come and tell me something about Brother Riley. And I come into church and I look at him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A matter of fact, my wife knows that. She died and gone. If she's going to tell me something, she has to tell me who tell me. Tell her. And if, and I, uh, if she's going to tell me something, if she said something, if somebody if she come to me and said, you know, somebody tell me something about her already. I will let she finish the conversation. And I will sit there and look at her like this. And she said, no. No. I said, we married for long enough. And if you're not going to tell me, who tell you? Don't tell me. Amen. Because somebody is going to say, don't tell. Don't tell nobody. It's a secret. Amen. Somebody come and tell me so. Amen. Here's the thing. That's where the devil live. The devil live in that little secret place. Hallelujah. The devil live because no, when I when I come to church, instead of I instead of I'm glad to see Brother Ray. Amen. Hallelujah. All these things is going through my mind when I heard the very well, no, you know what? This is your mind. The Bible said that the disciples look, let's go back to him. He said the Bible they stand up eleven and they lift up what? In one voice. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. For we the believers in Jesus Christ to speak with one voice. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not some time, but all the time we speak in one voice. And when we speak in one voice, oh my Lord. Amen. That's where that's where victory comes in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because the enemy has no little secret spot there. He has no place to hide underneath there. Oh, thank God. But when you speak with one voice, amen. Peter said, Hallelujah. Amen. He would left them and he said unto them, Ye men of Judea. Hallelujah. All ye that dwell in Jerusalem. Glory to God. Amen. Be this known unto you this day. Oh, that the word that you see here, it is not just because they are speaking out of them. It was prophesied. Amen. By Jewel the prophet from the Old Testament. And the Jewel said, in the last day, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all 
pleasure. Oh, hallelujah. Is that a young man's dream dream? They're all men's dream dream. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, to get off the, get off the shadow spot. Get off the shadow road. Get into the blessing stream. It is the, oh, God. Hallelujah. Amen. You see why you're not getting your blessing? You start to blame somebody. Amen. It is time, I would say, nobody blame game to stop. Hallelujah. If you want to receive the blessings of God, you got to stop blaming somebody. You got to stop blaming somebody. You got to stop blaming somebody. Well, I thought often the pastor would have the biggest back to write up. Pastor. The pastor didn't do this. The pastor didn't do that. But what did you do? What did you do? Amen. What did you do? That may be spoken. Hallelujah. By Joel the prophet. And it come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. In the in the last day, said God, I'm gonna pour. Said God, how many of you this morning? You feel thirsty and dry. Amen. How many of you this morning? Amen. You pray and you not see your prayer answer. Amen. Hallelujah. If your prayer are not answered, it's not because of, of the pastor. It's not because of Brother David. It's not because of Sister Jackie. Amen. It's between you and God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you can't blame somebody this morning. My Lord, if your relationship is not working out, don't blame somebody else. But it's time for you to take a look, hallelujah, and see why my relationship is not working out. If my relationship with you this morning is not working out, ladies and gentlemen, and I can't just bypass it, and I can't just say, you know, whatever happened, happened. No, that doesn't happen in the house of God. And I know somebody tell you, somebody might tell you that before, but that's what your blessing today. Amen. You don't. Whatever happened, happened. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Secondly, if you are praying with expectation, Amen. You're praying with expectation. How many of you are praying with expectation? Amen. Hallelujah. When you pray, Amen. You might be the best. You might be the biggest prayer warrior. I said to somebody not too long. I said, there's no prayer warrior. There's no warrior. There's no prayer warrior. Amen. If you look at yourself as a prayer warrior, amen. You might be in trouble. You might be in trouble. Amen. The man that, the man that seek God, they didn't call it say prayer warrior. Amen. They call it dead. A matter of fact, when you, the, the closer you get to God, is the more humble you get. Amen. Amen. It's the more humble you get. The closer you get to the fire of God, that the more humble you get. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I don't look at myself as a warrior. I look at myself, even as a simple servant. Amen. Hallelujah. Nowhere to find God. Amen. I'm just a simple little boy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now I said, I'm just a simple little amen, country boy from Jamaica. But I know we have to find the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Even in the darkest night, I know we're. When I can't see my hand, I put my hands up close and I can't see my hand. I know this morning we are to find the Almighty God. He's right there in the dark. He's right there. Hallelujah. He's right there. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me close in this one. He said, let's stand together. Amen. Hallelujah. And then if the man of Jerusalem, I can, I can, unto my word. In that word, listen to my word. Amen. They are not a drunken as you suppose. It was only the third hour. But it is which was spoken. Amen. By the prophet. And it came to pass that in the last day, God will pour out his spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Upon upon all flesh. Upon all upon my flesh. Amen. Upon upon all flesh. And your sons and daughter. Amen. Shall prophesy. Your son shall dream. Your, 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 your young man shall see vision. And your old man shall dream dream. On my servant and on my handmaid will I pour out. Amen. In those days my spirit. And they shall what? They shall prophesy. So this was what the um, Peter was rehearsed back to 
to the people of man of Judea and the man of Jerusalem. They are rehearsing. Why? Because this was what the, 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 the togetherness bring. This was what togetherness bring. Together, united we stand. Divided we fall. When we stand together, ladies and gentlemen, amen, you will, you will see the mighty power of God began to manifest into the local church. Amen. Hallelujah. When we stand together, amen, praise God, we get to know to each other. Well, you know how we get to know each other? We pray for one another and we talk to one another. We pray with one another. Amen. Why? In all of this, I'm praying that God will meet your need. I'm praying that the man that don't know God will come to know Jesus Christ. Amen. The man that my prayer, my prayer, that the, my prayer that I prayed, amen, hallelujah, is that the Lord, that the Spirit of God would move and somebody in my community. That is where I'm going to end up. You see, the church of God this morning, you and I, hallelujah, our, 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 our gospel impact, the ministry, I mean, it's not about the, it's not about the people that is here in this little church here. It's about the community. Hallelujah. And when you when you started to pray outside of the box, and when you see what God began to do outside, and God is gonna bring that which outside and the inside. Amen. But here's another part. You got to first have it on the inside first. Amen. Glory to God. You got to gotta have the feelings, the crying, the pain. Amen. The echoes on the inside. That when you kneel down to pray, oh my Lord. Amen. If the noise may be around you, but you can hear the voice of God speaking to you. Oh my Lord. When God began to speak, when he speaks, when the, when the Lord speaks, the cloud will have to go. The cloud will have to go. There is no mountain that God cannot move. Hallelujah. There is no mountain this morning that, 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 the, that the enemy will put in the way of the church that God cannot move in this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. But you and I have to pray with that vision. Amen. You got to pray with that vision this morning. God, hallelujah. God, I know you can. 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 Amen. If you're praying for your relative this morning, God, I know you can. God, I know you can. Because God has the power to do it. But we need to stand together. We need to stand together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody come. And they bring some kind of a, a news or whatever about somebody. Amen. I said, don't, don't take it. Don't, they don't take the truth of it. Amen. I said, where do they get it from? Where do they get it from? Hallelujah. And if they can't tell you where they get it from, amen. Don't worry. Oh, my, don't repeat that. Don't repeat that. We have some, we have some battle. I have some battle with some people on, on Facebook. I, I'm not in Facebook. I'm WhatsApp. I have some battle with Amen. Hallelujah. Because as soon as they get some weird, some weird story, you know, they put it on your Facebook and you, and you, and you watch them. I said, where do you get it from? Amen. Hallelujah. I did a prophet told me. It's a, it's, it's, okay, did you pray about it? Why should I pray about it? I said, if you're going you to release it, if you're going to pass it up, then you need to know. The quickest one I had was, was Kevin Sinner. I, I think some of you see that one there. And he posted it. I think one of the Sunday evenings. I don't know, before, before he died. He, he posted it. He said that the Canada, the Prime Minister in Canada, the Prime Minister of Canada was going to, to cancel your driver's license. He was going to cancel your, uh, uh, your level three things. He said that oh, yeah. you were going to cancel it. And then the only thing you're going to have was your health care. Man, I, I, I like my Facebook page light up, my people. My, my WhatsApp page light up. Is it true? Is it true? I said, no, it's a lie. How do you know it's a lie? I said, it's a lie. I said, number one, if it was true, the opposition would kill him. I said, the opposition is right in the middle of a political election.
direction. And if he do something like that, if he even go close to something like that, the opposition leader that will kill him. I said, no, that's a lie. There's no such thing. He said, how do you know? I said, that's what I said. The opposition will kill him. They will overrun him. Amen. You see what happened, my folks. And I'm bringing this to close. Is that you and I, we need to come back together. Amen. Because we are, we are serving a God. We are serving a God who is a miracle working God. Hallelujah. He's a miracle working God. And there is nothing. There is nothing that God cannot do. Amen. For you and for the church. Amen. There is nothing. And if you're not seeing something happen. Hallelujah. Don't blame somebody. Let the blame game stop today. Amen. Let the blame game stop. Amen. Stop blaming the national overseer. I'm going to end with that. That's all. <laughs> Listen, folks. The enemy has taken hold. And God has given us the answer to overcome. Amen. See, man, we, we, we're in the church right now. It, it's split, it's split down the, down the middle because some people have a vaccine and some are not vaccine. Amen. And everybody, and the people that are, are under vaccine, as they call it, is the one that said the government want to control their life. If you notice one thing, and I was praying, and I was on my knees there, and I, I was doing some work, and I was on my knees, and I, and I started flushing them. A friend of mine said, why were you on your knees? I said, I was working. <laughs> but I said, there's nobody said the government wanted to kill them. If you notice. Nobody said the government wanted to kill them. They said the government wanted to control their life. But they would rather if somebody died. They would rather to let somebody die. But that happened, you know what? When selfishness gets inside. Amen. But when the caring, when the caring and the love of God began to manifest in you this morning, I care about your pain. I care about your hurt. I care about every single thing about you. And that's the reason why we pray that sincere prayer. Amen. You pray with sincerity. You pray with, you pray with compassion. The Bible said Jesus was moved with compassion. Amen. He was moved with compassion. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me let me encourage you this morning. Let me encourage you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's his time. They stand together. The, the twelve disciples stand together. They speak together. It is time for the church to stand together. Hallelujah. It is time for the church to stand together. Whatever color you are, whatever uh, 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 part of society you are, it doesn't matter this morning. Amen. If you're in the deepest part of Africa, it doesn't matter if you're in San Salvador this morning. It is time for the church to move, to stand, and march together and see the victory. Oh, what a glory that will be. Hallelujah. When we all not get over here, but yeah. When we all start to march in the church together, yeah. amen, praise God. When we watch, when we're marching in, amen, with the joy of seeing each other. The joy. Amen. The joy of seeing each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The joy of seeing each other. The blessing of seeing each other. Oh, my Lord. When you, when you, when you can't see each other. Amen. Hallelujah. The pain that you encounter. My God. That's what we're talking about. That's what's going to bring the people. That's what, that's what the world, amen, is searching for this morning. Hallelujah. The true love. The church. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus called us and he gave us that victory. Amen. Now. Amen. Let's stand together. Hallelujah. Let us stand up together. Amen. Let's stand together. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And I want to, I want, I, I will stand together this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. I, I, 
I, I, want, I want you to stretch your hand towards Pastor, Pastor Ray. Amen. <laughs> and we're going to pray for him. Amen. Every man that's, as we pray for him this morning, we're going to believe God with him. Amen. We're going to believe God with him. Amen. Hallelujah. The twelve was there, but Peter was the leader. Amen. Peter was the leader. Peter was the one that got up. Jesus said, up on this rock, I build my church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have got the revelation. Now let's pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I pray for a fresh anointing upon our pastor. Almighty God, I pray that every wall, every hand that stretched against him this morning, Lord God, you will take them down, Lord. Amen. Lord God, if it falls, let accusation, Lord, that rise up against him. Lord God, you will break down the wall this morning. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ this morning, Lord. Amen. Lord God, for every member this morning, Lord, every member. Lord, every member this morning, Lord God. Father God, every for every words, Lord. A false accusation, Lord, and rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray you will take them down, Lord. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that there be an anointing this morning, Lord. Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of God, and come now, Lord. Lord, I read that it came to your people. Oh, hallelujah. God, we ask you, Lord, even in Western Canada this morning, Lord, that God, you will rise up in the local churches. Lord, you will take down, Lord, everyone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, fill us up this morning. Fill us up, Lord God. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up this morning, Jesus. Lord, fill up your people. Fill up your people, Lord. Lord, fill up the, the cabinet this morning. Fill up all that in need this morning. Fill up all that are sick, Lord. Deliver them from their sickness. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Ghost. 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 Send them back.
morning, God. Lord, let the anointing, Lord. Oh, God. Let the blame stop on this door this morning. God, let all the blame in him this morning. Lord, take them down this morning, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, let the peace of God. Let the peace of God. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Lord, I pray for Brother David this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I pray for his shoulder today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty this morning. Father, you heal my shoulder. Lord, my word works to that is God. And God, you heal mine, Lord. So I know this morning, God, that you can heal his shoulder. In the name of Jesus. That every flesh that is torn. God, you have the power this morning. Every flesh that is torn, Lord. God, you have the power. Lord, you will bring them, Lord. 
Bring them, Lord. Bring them, Lord. Lord, bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back, Lord. Bring them back this morning. Hallelujah. Bring them back, Jesus. Lord, we call heaven up.
just plus our weight, there's a dryer box, there's a tribal implement. Right? God is with us and if he's with us, who can be? And there's a may the Lord rich you bless you. But also may the Lord continue to use you. You know, not for your purpose, but for his purpose. Amen. You know, your your purpose might not always work so good, but <laughs> for God's purpose. Amen. It will always work well. Amen. Uh, remember uh, our Bible study on Tuesday evening. It's Tuesday evening at 7 30. We want to wrap up uh, in the book of Daniel. Then, as I was saying, we'll take a little, little break and maybe a couple of weeks, and I want to reset what our Christian education is going to be like because we also want to go back online so that we are reaching a whole bunch of people. Uh, with it, and I believe that's the direction God wants us to, to go. Uh, this Saturday, we're going to have fasting here from 9 to 12. We want to fast mm -hmm. for the church, mm -hmm. right? Fasting mm -hmm. and prayer. You know, I know some people have other commitments, but you can pick another day if you, if you so choose. But those of you who are able, let's come here with that one spirit understanding that God does move Amen. when we call. You know, we want to pray for the church. I, I, I'm not going to say this area, that area, the church. Yeah. The church. Mm -hmm. The devil is fighting her so hard, but the Bible said the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. But even though we know that, if you look at all the behavior in the Bible, even when they know that God is with them, they still cry out to God anyway, because yeah. that's our duty, mm -hmm. right? That's how we show faith and trust in him. So the Lord richly bless you this day. This is a good day. Go home, feel good about the Lord. Continue to hold on tight and don't let anybody fill your ears with discouraging news. Mm -hmm. You know, like the preacher said, ask them where they get it from. Mm -hmm. Or do like the man who you know, the way we're traveling, we stop his ears. And we, a lot of susu susu don't help you. Try it. Don't fast with God. All right, let's start. Jesus is the one. Yes, he is the only one. Let him have his way.